Hello, this is Fagash. Sorry I haven't made a video in a while, but today I'm going to show you how to get show you the stuff in the new new giant setter. So to open it you go start computer. Uh wherever you locate the game, mine's in games under Farm Simulator twenty thirteen. And then obviously here, if you go to um SDK and you can see giant setter here for Windows 32 obviously it would be 64 if you're on a 64 bit so if you just open that and install it and then you have a store template here as well uh, so yeah so it's sample mod if you open this I believe that this is just just an empty tractor nothing on it just looking a bit weird for you to use as a mod basically so you can edit it in giant setter um, I don't know why it's taking a while to load, but yeah, that's what it is. So you can get that, edit it, and then post it. So it's just for you to use to test out. And obviously, in the textures, it's all the same. So if you go to textures and you open this, you can edit this, which is on like change the color of these to change the color of the tractor, which I've shown a video on. It's exactly the same. Just do that. But yeah, you install that, and then to get the map up, if you go data, and then if you go maps. So obviously it's here. So if we open the Map01, these are the files you can get. If you open the Map01, this is the original map. So obviously if you download a map, there'll be other file formats here. But this is the new giant set at 5.0.1, and this is what it looks like. I'll skip it when it's fully opened. So here it is. Here's the giant set, sir. Uh, so obviously it's still the same. Press Control and you can move around. Oh, sorry, it's not control, it's alt. Click in the sky. So press alt to move around. Let's close these at the side here. So yeah, so this moves you around. Obviously it's new, so I'm still going to be used to it. But when you open a game, you see these icons here, so there's that. But if we go over to a field, here's the new bit about it. So if we go over to a field, obviously you see see this so if we open the scripting again you see that thing in the field to buy field so if we go window scripting right say if we click on that so we can just see what it looks like right so it says here so it goes field by trigger right and it goes field dimensions so if we click on the field dimensions expand that Oh, go away. Why is it doing this? Stop being an idiot. Field dimensions. Thank you. Right, so it's got corner zero one. If we click on that, what are you doing, computer? So it shows you the corner. So there's one corner, and it, and it just shows you all of the corners that you have. Oh, I can't really see it at the side there. Thank you. Right, so yeah. So this shows all the fields, your corner 1, and if you click X on that, corner 2, it's obviously corner 2, and then corner 3. There's one problem with this though, because obviously it's, show, it's just three corners that you use, because then it will make a square. Obviously, you can only have square fields to do buying points. That's why most of the fields on Giant Setter is now square on the on the map. So to click off just click there and then that closes but that's the only problem that I have so and obviously to move objects you just click on them and then the, the thing comes up and it's the blue arrow and all that still so but this is the new map um, I haven't really been on it that much so and if we go over to here obviously there's new new bits like the the salon point, I if you just probably click on here, it comes up with a box. Yeah, so there's a the salon point, so you can move that over to the map if you want to, or keep it there. And then the bank, you just send an icon to the bank. And then where's the bank located? Yeah, it's the ATM machine. And if you click X on that, it's just the ATM machine. And then it's a box. So that's basically just a trigger and, a, and an image. That's all it is. So you can add them any way you like. So and obviously the flags moves now, which is really good. Yeah, so obviously missions that's going to be difficult because oh no, missions you have to op open up differently. Should we have a look? Um, so here's tutorials. Tutorials always stack in. 
Um, I'm not sure about missions. I haven't looked into that one. I should really, shouldn't I? Uh, uh, In-game missions. There we are. So, so endpoint trigger. So, obviously, with the missions, you open up the endpoint trigger. If you open that and then just say, oh yeah, I want every mission to end here or something. I don't know. But I haven't learned the seeding channels. Um, terrain editing. So we'll see. It's still new. Texture layer, dirt, rock, glass. Ah, oh, lawn grass. Ah, is this new? Does this. Uh, I believe that'll be under train editing. Uh, hmm. So there's that. There's lawn grass. Um, yeah. Cobblestone. So that's obviously the look of. Oh no, what's the look of that then? Oh. Uh, uh, but grass, there's grass, so you can connect these two fields up, you know, however you feel like. And then w when you go away, it actually loads up, it went on the other one, it didn't. So, but uh, 275, I remember correctly, was grass. Oh, 275 has changed now. So 1275, that's bushes, and then kind of like. Uh, why don't we do it over here? Uh, add a six on it. That's still the same. Take away the one. So that's that. Uh, oh, parsnips. Um, eleven. Let's get rid of all of it. Let's get rid of all of it then. Um, oh, that's hay. So. We take off the eleven. Would that make? Ah, oh, no. Take away the six. No. Add the six. Take away the seven. There we are. So it's two five six. For is it, yeah, I believe it's wheat. So there we are. There's one of them already. Oh no, that's wheat over there. So that must be barley. There we are. Yeah. So if we uh, take away the two and add it, to make it a three. Ooh. Parsnips. There we are. So if we take away the three and add a one. Okay. So yeah, this has been Fagash. Uh, any comments, please leave below, and I will, I will try and make a map. This farming simulator, and then put it up for download. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.